All right, you made it to the last video for setting up ODOT CAD and ODOT STD standards. Um, so the last thing I want to show you with, with these standards is, you know, really how to get started. Um, so how to create a project, how to how to create files um, to, to really give you guys a, a starting point here. And the following videos will move on to the Connect standards. All right, so to create a new project, we have application that helps you out. So if we go into our standards, so ODOT CAD standards, ODOT um, project tools, uh, you will see there is a ODOT CAD create new project executable. So I'm gonna launch that. Uh, so I just wanna note that we have a full blown video that goes through the ins and outs um, of, of this application, which I'll put a link to um, when I upload this, um, but this will just get you quickly started. Um, so we have, you know, help instructions about you know, if you go to about, you get that version and whatnot. Um, so I'm not going to go through everything, but the first thing you really need is where's the ODOTCAD standards. It, this application needs to know where the standards are at in order to know how to create the project because the folder structure is within the standards. Um, so let me switch this over to my demo folder. So that can um, standards folder. Oop, I mean the can folder. My bad. Right. Um, so the next thing is where do you want the project to be created? So there's, there's that project data folder I was talking about. So I'll go to project data. Uh, where do you want the project creation file to go? That's the same folder I talked about in a previous video. Just like that. Okay. So now you have some, some options here. So you can select what district and county your project is in. And as you select the county, the geographic coordinate system will be set to either north or south, which depending on what uh, county that zone is in. Um, so that kind of helps you fill that out. Um, so we gave some options. Um, for when you create the project, do you want to organize the projects within the county folder or not? Um, there's some options for when you have some some situations where it's, you, you need to do something but you don't have a PID. Um, there's you know district wide options here. Uh, the the video the full blown video will go through all that. I'm not going to go through that, but basically you're going to type in your PID number. Um, so I'll just do that, and you have an optional description to put on that PID folder. So I'll just do demo, and then you can control like the size of your project um, by having these optional discipline folders that you want to check on. So I'll just check on like a couple of them. Um, so as if your project requires them, then you can check them on. You get those additional folders, and that's where you know those files pertaining to that category would be held. You can come back to this application after it's created if you switch the operation to add files to the existing project, and you can add in more files at a later time um, if needed. So I'm going to hit create. It's going to go through and create that project. So let's go take a look at it. So if I come over into that project data folder, sweet, I have my new project here, and I can take a look at it. Um, there's the design folder. This is where all your DGN files are going to go. And so you'll see I checked down some of these discipline folders and now I have them. These are all kind of set up the same way. So if I go into like roadway, you should see base maps. That's where your base map files will go. Sheets, where your sheets files go. Engineering data is where your spreadsheets and, and basically everything else goes. Um, so um, if we take a look at the PCF location, now we have PCF and this is setting things about the project. So real quickly, let me just go and launch Arcstation for CAD to show you that I now have a project that I can select. So remember in the other video I said make sure you're on CAD, but now uh, this project is listed and as you have more, they'll get listed here. When I select it, it's gonna take me over to the design folder. Um, so. Let me just get into a file here. I'll just open up a seed file. There's one more thing I want to show you, um, and that is 
We have an application to help you create files and name them correctly according to our standard. Um, so there is a lot more to our standards um, and this video series is just really to get you started. So I encourage you to check out that our YouTube channel and you can find a slew of videos um, for using our standards. Um, so what I want to do is go to the tab and go to file management and create, create design files. Um, so this will open up a little application that will help you create design files. So there's categories. And again, there's a video, a full blown video that goes over everything in this application, which I'll link to as well. Um, but you know, you can cl click on a category and say you wanted a drainage race map, you check it out and it says, okay, I don't have a drainage folder, discipline folder, cause I didn't check that on. So roadway is the default. Um, so it's going to roadway base maps and here's our standard naming convention and you can hit create files and it will create it and then open the file too. So um, that is, you know, kind of to get you, get you into our standards um, so you don't, you're not totally clues on where to start. Um, but, so I'm going to move the rest of my videos and move on to the connect standards and that's again where you know, we're moving to, and that's going to be the standard to use here in the future. So keep that in mind if you're using this stuff that, that this is going away. This whole standard is, is going to become, become retired here shortly. So see you in the next video.